Hello again, my little ones. Welcome back to Let's Get On With It, Romance of the Three Kingdoms 6. Last time, we pretty much consolidated my forces in northern China. Pretty much entirely. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think we're good. We, we pretty much got uh, northern China covered here. Um, pretty much as big as Sao, um, Sao, Sao, Sao Peace forces were in Wei. Probably the size you're facing. And yet, Wu over here, Shu over on this side, and Sao Sao was facing them both. Eventually, uh, both those two got smaller. Especially whenever, uh, ah, it doesn't matter. It's all history that's not actually going to happen in this game. Hooray! Um, this episode, we are going to proceed through the timeline, uh, collect some money next month, and hopefully spend it well. Also, I need to move around some forces officers and what have you to present themselves with a good front to face my various foes. It's kind of important, folks. My opinion, anyway. So let's get on with doing that. Um, it's time for us to move the officers. Have you heard of the, uh, the transporting techniques of Grimoth? Yes. I do believe I shall have this dude, Chin Jin. Congratulations, buddy. You are, um, you're charged with moving all of those dudes. You win everything forever. Army draft. I'm now going to draft some defenders for this city. I shall draft 50. I could draft more. Fuck it. It's not important. Now, all the officers that are <coughs> left here, except for some guys to sit behind, uh, you four are heading to the front lines. Pretty important stuff, folks. Now, I guess I should align these folks to do something. Zheng Yan, you do that. Gao Lan, you do that. Success, everybody. And now we have lots of officers here who need to move as well. So let's get on with doing that. I should set it to moving men, though, shouldn't I? That would be the wisest decision. So I don't leave the men behind. That, that would be silly business. Zhao Bucket, Metazi, Wu Long, Shiny Unicorn... I think that's all that needs to be moved here. So that's cool. Uh, don't fuck, fuck the horse. <laughs> Take along 61. I should have gone the other way. Foot soldiers. Leaving us with an incredible army at our disposal here. We have lots of officers left here. And it's nobody that uh, is important to really have on the front line. So I can pretty much disperse those guys as I see fit. Which I am pleased with, rest assured. You guys are slowly working to improve that. That's cool. Who is here in this city? Right, you three. I would like to have you three on the front line. However, Jay Gorgi is continuing to throw fits. So, we'll see how well that goes. Move, officers. I'm going to move you two. Not that city, that has plenty of officers. I'm going to move you two here. Which means I need two officers back in that city to, um, sit there and babysit the city, because that is how I roll. I also need somebody to eventually move those armored horsemen out of that city. I don't think I need somebody to do it eventually. Uh, I'll probably, uh, be fine without those troops. But why not have them at my disposal, folks? So you two, congratulations. You get to move out of the city. I'll have somebody sit on doing that, and somebody sit on doing that. It'll be fine. Go back up here to this city. You guys can work on slowly upgrading the public safety here, because that has gone to hell. <laughs> gone to hell pretty damn quickly. Uh, let's see. Draft some more troops out of here. Do a motorboat. Have fun, Jay Gorky. Don't have that much gold left. Thankfully, I'll get paid next month. Phew. I know, folks. Bookkeeping. More and more gratuitous amounts of bookkeeping. Is it not exciting? Are you not interamused? <laughs> You're not? Well, shit. You guys should be fine. Who else is left? I moved you guys over who attacked that, and I moved those guys out of here. So I think that pretty much takes care of everybody. Although, I could have left somebody behind. I may be mistaken. 
And if so, well, hopefully I'll figure out that mistake. Eventually. Probably not now, though. I'm going to check and see how much energy Master Reaper has. Not a whole lot to do much of anything that I want to do. I don't think. I didn't really look. I just looked at the <laughs> If I did, I forgot. Okay, that'll be fine. I'm going to go ahead and end the month, then. We'll see what happens. I'm also going to turn the music up by one. Yay! We have just received word that Zhu Huang has broken out of prison. We have just received word that Bian Ji has broken out of prison. Zhao Lei has broken out of prison. Master Reaper, we are counting on you. Thank you, here's some money. Thank you, here's some money. Thank you, here's some money. Hooray! Oh, dick. Please be in southern China. Please be in southern... <sighs> Alright, that hit two of my cities. One of them being on a front that I share with... Oh, God. Alright, so, uh, Vulture Bobo is also angry! Goddamn general literature. My lord, it seems lately that you are not seeing the forest from the trees. I wouldn't know anything about that, though, because I get confused easily. I feel better, my lord. Meeting with you has helped regain my equilibrium. Let's go ahead and talk to SKS while we're here, too. I'm not going to bother wasting my energy on Jay Gorky. I'll wait until he recovers. Reports suggest that Gong Du and Jin Ye is a plant. Surprising absolutely nobody. So I have a plant here. Uh, of course it would be my prefect here, wouldn't it be? Of course. You know, if, if he's a plant then, I'm going to trust SKS on this one. So, job, bro. Since you're pretty much going to leave me anyway, bro, I shall slight you. I accept the position of protector to Jin Yi. My lord, I gladly relinquish my seat as protector to such a person as him. Good! I guess I'll go ahead and move another officer down there. <laughs> since I know what's going to happen. Um, in that case, Ta Dun. Congrats, bro. You get to move down there. It's a highly prestigious honor, I assure you. Might as well take you off of that and put you there. Yay! I need some more troops here. I should move troops. But from where? This place uh, has lots of troops. I moved the troops out of there. That's good. Do I still have troops here? I do. This guy needs an officer to supplement him being awesome. So move officer. I can move like two officers there actually. No. Uh, Chin Jin, you go join him. Move officers. Somebody needs to join him. Grumpy! Shall be you. Move officers. Anybody else with just one dude? I think you guys are pretty much covered. Is there somebody? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think that pretty much takes care of everything. Uh, I'm glad we handled that together, folks. That was an important accomplishment, and it could not have been done without the, uh, the glory and greatness of me. Uh, I'll just leave three officers in there for now. I'm sure I'll find a way to do something with him. The third guy, whoever that is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's draft some more troops. Yu Chu Quan shall be in charge of this. Bobo shall, uh, get to relax, I guess. Also notice how much gold we have, everybody. I am immensely pleased by this. Immensely pleased. Words cannot express how pleased I am at the seeing how much money I have. Okay. Now I'm thinking that uh, troops that I draft from this side are going to stay on this side to deal with Lu Zhang. Troops I draft from here should probably go down here to strengthen my border with Lu Biao. Which, uh, is not that strong right now. Wait, how many, how many troops are left here? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, what the fuck are you doing with those? <laughs> um, okay. I have an idea. Move, men. But this border needs to be strengthened as well whenever I attack Soon Say. Hmm. 
Tell you what. We'll think about that later. Uh, Killer Croc, you are in charge of moving these troops. You will move six armored horsemen and 289 footies. Hooray! Now, it's kind of left uh, only three people here. Pac-Man Shing should get off that and work on public safety. Slowly increasing that. Uh, Master Reaper should consult with the Emperor, but I'll wait a bit on that. And you guys should move men to this city. I should choose Ching Yen. Um, go ahead and move all the footies and the armored horsemen. You guys will keep those hillmen. I know this is pretty exciting, folks, seeing me break down this stuff. It is a necessary sacrifice in a strategy game such as this whenever I can't just, uh, delegate everyone. Most, uh, frustrating. Not really frustrating, just time-consuming. You guys still need troops. Hmm, didn't quite solve that problem. I guess I could draft troops from here. That take like two turns, but I guess theoretically I could. It'd be much closer. So I wouldn't have to deal with 90 fucking different things. Or I could take one of the officers that's obviously going to be sitting, like, say, here. And start collecting uh, troop reinforcements to move down from somewhere or another. Ah. Uh, this is so hard, the concept of thinking. Let's have an audience with the Emperor here. Oh. Because I consulted with... Yeah, because I consulted with Vulture Bobo and Sir SKS. I don't have enough energy to do that. Fine. Is there somebody here I could perhaps hire to help the cause? Like if I chose this dude. Maybe I don't want to hire him. I don't think he's a good officer. Perhaps we'll try Zhu Huang. Excellent. I wasn't planning on staying like this forever. I was just waiting for a chance like this. Lord Hu Zhu Huang is willing to serve you, my lord. Excellent. Now, let's say we try that with Zhao Lei. Who escaped from prison. Pac-Man Shing will go. Oh, god damn it. What if you give the man a thousand gold? Oops. I meant to, like, choose a rank instead, but whatever. It was done. Accept it and move on. We're ending this turn. Do 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 do. Gong Du has suddenly disappeared. It is awfully suspicious. It appears that he was a spy from the enemy. Thank you, SKS, for informing me. I'm glad you broke it down for me in ways I could understand. Audience with the Emperor. I'm glad for the opportunity to see your Imperial Highness. Ah, you came at a good time. Wu Sun Se has done superbly. What do you think of raising his status? I guess. I understand fully. I'll get started. In exchange, I am made Minister of Exterior. By Imperial Decree, Sun Se has been made Commander of Five Posts. <laughs> I will immediately rip down all five of those posts because I'm a douchebag. Aha! <laughs> I proved your uh, trust in me or something. I don't know. Tell you what. I have a job for whatever, whoever guy is sitting here. Whoever guy, yes. Move, officers. You head up to this city. Uh... Wangju. I choose you. Of course, I took the guy who was fucking improving. Uh, the one stat that needed to be improved here. Oh, well. Army. Draft. Vulture Bobo. You get to draft troops. <sighs> These guys won't confuse me. <laughs> the general of literature has spoken. Such is his decree. <laughs> Am I being silly? Yes. Does that matter? Yes. Shit. Army. Draft even more troops. See, these barbarian capitals, are so, citadels, are so useful, everybody. Draft tons of troops here. Uh, they won't quite help me so much in this area. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's all part of my cunning plan to inevitably confuse uh, Lu Zhang. 
And Zhang has lots of, you know, I can recruit, like, lots of troops from there. We'll see. I have so much gold and food that it doesn't quite matter that much. I, I can afford to throw away people. <laughs> Don't tell anybody that. They might be upset. <laughs> I'm a douchebag, lols. Um, let's see here. I need Zhu Huang to do something. His dream is loyalty, which is a good thing. By the way, while I'm thinking about it, let's talk with Jay Gorky. My lord, these days it seems as if you've become someone else. Someone we don't know. My lord, it seems lately that you are not seeing the forest from the trees. God damn it. <laughs> Listen, you son of a bitch. I don't have to deal with this shit from you. <laughs> I'm going to have Zhu Huang draft troops from here. My lord, rejoice. Strong fighters have come to our call. I'm going to have somebody draft troops from here. In this case, it'll be Jia Kui. Footies! The city, the city have population? Not really. I heard this one. Slowly progress and move through things. Um, let's go ahead and uh, Ixnay on this turn A. This turn A, pig A, Latin A. Meanwhile, you guys uh, pretty much get a fucking vacation. Congratulations. You get a fucking vacation. Although Sony needs to improve this. I choose you. Hooray, you've been chosen. You've been selected. It's a grand, prestigious honor. Moving on to the turns. Lord Master Reaper, this dude has come to this city. This guy has until the age of this. Hooray! We have learned thanks to your grand, um, imperial input or something. I don't know. Alright, this will be enough troops. Army, actually, I'm just going to draft once more. I'll have Sami Yi do this. Since he's much better at it. And then I'm going to use Zhu Huang's turn to move to this city of Zhu Chang. And take along some troops. In this case. Uh, 183? Yeah. 173, my bad. Yes, children, that matters to me. Children, children, children. Why don't you understand anything? Let's talk to Jay Gorky again. Alright, he's actually saying something different. Vulture Bobo? Okay. You guys pretty much said the same thing. That's nice. Master Reaper is going to need some time to uh, recuperate his energy. As dicks wore him out. <laughs> that sounds weird. Um, let's have a Jia Kui here draft once more. And then we'll have Zhao Mao or whoever move some troops. In this case, we are going to be moving 277 footies. It's all part of my Grandmaster strategy, everybody. The Grandmaster strategy of uh, handling these dudes pretty effectively. Of course, you know, uh, I'm starting to think about this Axian I asked for this since he thought it might be more interesting if I just let a huge three-pronged assault at once. Not sure about that. That might take a lot of micromanaging and I've consumed a bunch of time just going through a few months here. But we'll see. We shall see. And how? How? You shall do this. Those troops moved, and now there are some defenders here in this city, or possible attackers. We shall uh, wait and see. If somebody needs to work on improving this, that will be had now. Somebody is now in this city to move troops, which is what I'm going to do. Move to Beiping. Wang Zhu is fine. Troop count, uh, just take all of them. Because we can draft some replacements. Here? 61 is fine. No, no it's not. 50, there we go. You guys need to draft some more troops as well. I will have Vulture Bobo handle this. No, excuse me, I'm gonna have Jay Gorky handle this. I think he's just going to end up sitting in that damn city, I swear. Um, uh, move men. 
for the rest of his life, and he can rage about being in the Barbarian Citadel. <sighs> Chiquan shall move those guys. Now we have a lot of troops. We are cooking with gas. Firing on all cylinders. And Bobo shall move to the front line somewhere. I think Bobo should relocate. Hmm. I'm going to have to move around some of my good officers if I'm going to do what I'm thinking about doing. Like, I just can't have them, like, all located in these sections. If this place is going to be an area of defense, I'll have everybody who I want to attack with in Shuchun move to Jinye. So, Bobo, go ahead and move there. That means that, uh... Motorboat. <laughs> Officers, you two should move over there, and Jiu and Zhu Kang should be should be able to handle things fine. And that'll be okay. That means that some of you guys get to move as well. Not men, officer selection, because I don't need all of you there. So, if I'm going to attack from somewhere, it'll probably be here, because that's the closest to my reinforcements from the Barbarian Citadel. Need to bring along some effective people at attacking. Um, let's see, Kling Han, Pokey Hokey, Shiny Unicorn, JG Mystery. That'll be fine. You guys should be able to handle that. Maybe I'll even uh, transfer over soon mile whenever I get an officer to take her place. That sounds like a plan, everybody. I can draft troops here, which is great. Which uh, gives me the opportunity to move. Move men. Over here to the city that I've just uh, plugged officers into. SKS. Congrats, bro. Move those troops. You have served a valuable, important uh, thing. You've done something good, okay. That's all we need to say. If I can fucking select this shit. Draft, Pang Day, Armored Horseman, 72. <sighs> Move, men. And slowly work uh, Silent Seven's character uh, all the way over to a front line somewhere to help. For that would be useful. 342, and that will conclude both this turn and this video, thankfully. Um, coming back, we will uh, realloc continue to reallocate forces. I'll hopefully be going through turns quicker, and then we will make ourselves uh, we will make ourselves known to the rest of China. It'll be fun, everybody. I'll see you all later.